Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 90323, and we're gonna solve the fourth problem that is divide and equalize. So let's see what the problem states. So in this case, uh, we will be given an array A consisting of like uh, n positive integers, and uh, they are giving us uh, some rules. They are asking us to perform an operation. So the operation is like you can take uh, two integers like a i and a j. Both should belong to different index. and uh, you can choose one of the divisors of ai so divisor is what if you divide that number with uh, if the divisor is x and if you are dividing that number with uh, ai with x means you should have a remainder of 0 that is what is called as divisor now uh, next you got x right you need to uh, replace ai with ai by x you divide that ai with that divisor you will get one value replace that and uh, you took the second number right aj you need to multiply that number with the divisor you took earlier so uh, the final goal is using all these operations is it possible for us to make all the numbers in the array equal or not so that is our ultimate goal we can do, uh, do this like uh, any number of times and uh, let's understand this with the help of an example so that it will be more clear in this case a equal to 100 to 50 10 1 we have like five elements they are asking us is it possible for us to uh, make all the numbers equal by following the operation uh, the first thing that they do, did is they took a3 and they took a2 so we know that uh, ai is 50 and a2 uh, is aj okay now uh, 50 is what 50 has a divisor of 5 so what they did they divided 50 with 5 they got 10 they replaced 50 with 10 and what is the divisor they took 5 this 5 needs to be multiplied to 2 now 5 into 2 is what 10 now 50 by 5 is 10 and this 5 is multiplied by 2 it became 10 10 10 we got next operation they took the first number that is 100 and the last number 1 now ai is 100 means you should take one divisor from here what did they take they take 10 from here and then multiplied this 10 to this one so 100 by 10 is 10 and 1 into 10 is 10 now at last as you see all the numbers are very much equal here now what did we see here it's a divisor so if i'm telling you let's uh, just write it in the form of prime factors because uh, 2 into 5 is also a divisor let's see whether we can uh, solve this problem with the help of prime factor divisor both are same right they are a divisor is made up of a set of prime factors so uh, what can we do now is like uh, let's write down all the prime factors so this is the same number that they give we wrote down all the prime factors 2 to 5 is the prime factor of 100 2 5 is the prime factor of 50 etc now uh, when they are asking us to divide a number by x and replace the other number with multiply by x means what you are just directly pushing this number if i want uh, to divide it by 5 means I, and multiply it to 1 means i am just pushing this number here so if i push this number here that means 10 by 5 it becomes 2 only and 1 into 5 it becomes 5 so that is the logic here so we understood that dividing and replacing it with the multiplication of the second number means i am just pushing some of its devices or factors to other places so the question boils down to the state that is it possible for me to arrange the devices in such a format that all the numbers are equal or not so in this case since i got all the numbers and uh, i understood what they are intending to do like arranging the numbers i'll just do it now every guy is having already two but this guy is not having i'll see whether this guy is having or not okay 100 is having an extra two so i'll give this guy here in order to make every number equal, every number should have the same prime factors or same devices. The number should be same. Now this guy have two fives, this guy have two fives, this guy have one five. Now let's give this guy also one five here. What is happening? If I am pushing this number to here means I am dividing this number by five and this one I am multiplying it by five. So here I am dividing it by five, I am multiplying it by five. Okay. Now here also everyone is same but here he is orphan and we can have one more 5 here so i am taking 50 and 1 divide 50 by 5 and multiply 1 by 5 now what happened every number is having a product of 10 the prime factors if you take the product it is 10 all the numbers are equal so what did we understand now uh, you take all the prime factors 
dividing and multiplying just means that are you able to arrange those factors together if you say like 10 is a divisor it might not we might not note right 2 into 5 should go as a pair only so uh, we are just breaking down to the most atomic part that is prime factors then trying to arrange it so that the numbers are equal or not so how did we know this here 2 occurs 5 times 2 occurs 5 times and uh, length of the array is 5 and 5 occurs 5 times if all the prime factors that we got is same as the length of the total array then we can very well say that I am able to arrange all the prime factors in the array and able to get the solution make the number same so how did we do it we are taking a map here I am inserting the element that is 10 to 50 100 etc and getting the prime factors I am passing the number and the map this is the general prime function I am taking the left, uh, lower part alone so I am removing all the two factors I am removing all the three factors here until I will go till square root of p so if you don't know prime factor read about it like it's very simple and if it's a prime number we will directly uh, increment the value now uh, once we got all of the thing we have to uh, in this case we had uh, 2 and 5 left right 2 occurred 5 times and 5 occurred 5 times map will store these numbers now I'll iterate through the map and check that whether it is divisible by 5 or not. If 2 is divisible, num count of this is divisible by 5, if count of 5 is divisible by 5, if it is divisible, I'll continue it. If it is not divisible, I'll make the flag as 1 and break it and print no. So suppose in this case, like if you have only 3 2s means and these are all 0, 0 something, you can't arrange it, right? It's not possible. So we need to make sure that uh, the total number of prime factors for each number the count is n times or not so this is the solution you can have a look and that's all guys see you in the next video